So just as you thought you understood your Sokotoa, we're going to throw in the inclined plane, which just messes everything up a little bit. So when we have a mass sitting on an inclined plane, the gravitational force is straight down. The normal force, remember our normal force is perpendicular to the surface. So the normal force points straight up. Perpendicular to the surface. Okay? And then there is part of the gravitational force is going to pull you down. So the normal force here, there's our normal force, is going to counteract the perpendicular part of your gravity. So not all of your gravity is right along the plane. And then you have some of the gravity that's pulling you actually down the ramp. It's going to make you go down the ramp. And so this is actually when we talk about an inclined plane, instead of talking about x component and y component, we're talking about the perpendicular component. It's perpendicular to the inclined plane. And the parallel component that is parallel to the inclined plane. So when we look at this, if we were to make two, if we're trying to figure out our angles and everything. See here we have two parallel lines. This line and this line are parallel to each other. Okay? And this angle here is the same as this angle here because these are corresponding angles according to our geometry. We can then take our gravitational force Let's extend that down, make it a straight line, and you see we have another right triangle, and this angle here is congruent to that angle there, and it's also complementary to this angle here. So these two angles are congruent which means this is congruent to this. And so when we're done, this kind of looks ugly, but let's make this bright pink so that it stands out. This angle here, the angle of the inclined plane itself, is congruent to this angle right here. Now you're not going to have to prove that, but you do need to know that this angle and this angle are congruent to each other. They're the same angle. So when we're talking about the angle of the plane, that's also the angle that gravity makes with the plane. So then when we go and do our Sokotoa, we know that this angle and this angle are congruent. And so our perpendicular component, so we call that the force of gravity perpendicular. Okay? Our force of gravity perpendicular, this side here is adjacent to the angle. So this is equal to the cosine of the angle. We're going to use the cosine. So this is Fg cos theta to get the normal force and that has to counteract our normal force working perpendicular to the surface so on an inclined plane our normal force is equal to our force of gravity times the cosine of the angle this is only only on an inclined plane please do not just use this whenever you feel like Oh, let's go FG cos theta. It's just not going to work. The parallel component of our force is opposite the angle, and so we call that FG parallel, and that is equal to the force of gravity times the sine of the angle. 
Okay, so this is our perpendicular force. This is our parallel force. Perpendicular, parallel, which is kind of opposite what we did for x's and y's. When we had x and y, okay, here was our angle. The y was the sine. You know, it came up, and the x was the cosine. On an inclined plane, it is pretty much backwards from that. So these are the parts that we need to use when we're talking about an inclined plane. So knowing that our normal force is the force times the cosine of the angle, as our angle gets closer and closer to zero, so as the angle approaches zero degrees, which would be flat, then our normal force is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger because the cosine of theta is going to approach 1. It's going to get really close to 1. The sine of the angle, as we have a really flat, okay, as we have a really flat surface, the sine of the angle is going to approach 0. So when we have a really flat surface like this, then we know that our parallel force, the force that's pulling us down the ramp, isn't very big because the sine of the angle approaches zero. But more and more of our force is pushing straight down. More of our gravitational force is straight down. So we, we're feeling more and more pressure on the bottom of our feet. Applying that same idea, as we get a steeper angle, the opposite occurs. As you get a steeper angle, your cosine is going to approach zero. So as we have this bigger angle, our cosine approaches zero. And so we're not really touching the surface as much. We're not pushing as hard on the surface, so the surface isn't pushing as hard on us. But you can see that if you were standing on this that you would start to slide down the hill and you'd be because you're working a lot with gravity because the sine of the angle is going to approach 1 and so as you get steeper and steeper and steeper the parallel component gets to be bigger as you get flatter and flatter and flatter your normal force is going to be bigger